throw the whole bag out. Have you checked your children's Halloween candy? Some parents in Aloha say they were drugged after eating their kids' Sour Patch Kids. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Now, this happened on the area of the 21,000 block of Southwest J Street. Our Valina Jones explains how deputies say this could even have happened. So now I'm questioning, does all of this candy, is it bad? James Smith and his two kids are taking a second look at their Halloween candy after learning his neighbors were drugged after trick-or-treating. I'm tempted to throw the whole bag out, unfortunately, and just go to the store and get a bag. Washington County deputies say his neighbors on Southwest J Street got sick after eating Sour Patch Kids from their kids' candy. It later tested positive for methamphetamine. You shouldn't be doing this to kids. I mean, for crying out loud. It, unfortunately, it was a parent. I, I assume that ingested this. Um, had it been somebody his age, the outcome could have been death. Bonnie Stewart was home when deputies and an ambulance came to her neighbor's house. I never thought anything like this would happen, you know, with meth being around in the neighborhood and stuff. It's crazy the way stuff is, you know, you can't trust anything anymore. Deputies say because the family was likely going all over the neighborhood, it is nearly impossible to pinpoint exactly where that candy came from unless they receive more reports. I like there's too much air, too little air, it's dried out, it's hard. There's something that just doesn't seem right about it. There's no reason to chance it. Even though the parents told deputies the candy wrapper was completely sealed, investigators say the sweet treats can still contain a chilling surprise. Put it into a syringe and then you could inject the syringe through the plastic bag. People might be thinking that's another reason it's not true, like who would put a bunch of their own meth in candy and then give it away? Actually don't need very much for, for us to be able to pick it up. The family involved walked to different neighborhoods northwest and south of their home. Neighbors I spoke to tell me the Hillsboro School District notified parents today of the incident. Now, the parents in this case did not want to go on camera, but tell me they have thrown out all their candy from last night. And, of course, if you suspect your kid's candy has been tampered with, authorities want to hear from you. And probably good advice to just get rid of it all at yep. this point. Thanks, Melina.